All right, I'm Adam Highbarger. I'm an owner-operator team on the road with Reliable Carriers, and this is my rig. The 2022 Peterbilt 579 with a 156-inch uh, air-eye sleeper. All right, come on guys, let's go check it out. So not every truck has this, but we have this amazing side door. So this is our inside our humble abode, and obviously up here is the, where all the magic going down the road happens. Uh, roaming satellite, we can watch TV going down the road. And here is one of the cool features about these trucks, shower and toilet, so it doesn't matter where you're at, you can always get a, get a nice shower and use the restroom without having to drive for miles to find a place. This truck here that we bought, it's got the built-in induction cooktop, makes definitely cooking a lot easier on the road. Michael, my co-driver, he definitely has a fetish for kitchen appliances you should see our house so in the bed we actually had this was a, a lot build um, for Peterbilt so this one was already pre-built when we bought it so the company that builds sleeper ARI we took it to them um, had this this roof put on above the bed so that when I'm back here or he's back here you can close it off and it's completely isolated from the rest so Whoever's behind the wheel at the time can still come back here and take their break, hang out, watch TV, get something to eat. Um, so that's one of the unique features. And we are the first ones that they have ever put in a drinking water spigot in. So we have three water tanks. Uh, we got a, a primary is a 30, 30 gallon. The secondary tanks in here, it's a 34 gallon. So that's for the sink and the shower. And then we got about a 20 gallon um, uh, water tank for just drinking water underneath the bed. It's kind of a pain in the butt the way we have it engineered, but we lift up the bed, we just take a cap off the tank and instead of carrying around a bunch of gallon jugs of water, we can just dump them right into it so we don't have all of that just sliding around. This is it, this is home on the road. So this is a pretty standard stock build truck from the factory. We do have the, the, the touch screen in it. You can go to a page where it shows us a bunch of extra virtual gauges. The biggest thing is our dash cam system. I got two cameras on each side of the truck, one behind the cab and one outside the windshield here. Um, I have four more to add. I'm going to actually put those on the trailer so we can get a complete 100 or 360 degree view around the truck at all times. And we can actually feed that um, that's actually being fed into our TV. So when we're in the back parked up at a truck stop, we can just change over the input and see what's going on outside instead of peeking out windows or whatever. So probably one of my favorite things that I've actually done to the truck since we've owned it. Yep, automatic transmission. It's got the um, Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift uh, 13 speed, um, the Cummins X15 engine in it. So it's a pretty good truck, pretty solid truck, rides great. I think this is probably one of the best riding trucks that I've ever been in before. I mean, even bobtailing without the trailer, it's just, it almost feels like you're pulling a trailer when you're not. So the, the design that we put on, actually, this is our second truck. Um, our first truck was a Volvo that's actually still part of the fleet. Another driver ended up buying that from us. So he actually has the same design. Um, there's some, I think it's this stripe up here, this one here, and on the fuel tanks, it's really hard to see, but it's, a, it's like a deep purple metallic. So when the sun hits it, it looks like a dark plum color. That's the same as the fenders on the other truck that he's driving we used a much lighter purple so we stuck with the same design there was a company in the town that we live that we went to because we really wanted something that was unique that stood out because we saw like a bunch of the other reliable trucks that had some pretty cool graphics on it so we went in there and they they drew it up for us and i've always kind of like liked the the general look of the like tribal markings i have a tribal tattoo so <laughs> so this kind of Kind of looks like it to me. Just a really cool design. Dude, this is cool. You want to talk about this? I haven't seen this. No, they they actually build them for trucks. There's a lot of trucks that reliable. They don't put them on because it adds extra weight to the front. In Florida, I had a guy try cutting between me and the the guardrail, and he ended up hitting the bar instead of our truck. So the bar is going to be a lot easier to replace than 
getting our truck hit and getting it all disabled and not being able to go anywhere. So yeah, all of our all of our trucks we've ever had, we've always put the the bars on the front of them to help protect. And then when Michael picked out the the darker color, because this truck when we bought it was originally white and we had it wrapped for reliable. So it just had the the cheesy stock headlights in it that had the chrome backing and when I saw that he wanted this darker color and I come across these, I'm like, that's gonna look so much cooler. So we upgraded them with the LED bulbs and LED fog lights and I don't know, I just like to custom stuff as much as I can. Make it stand out so whenever anybody sees us, they know it's us. Well, if you're looking for a job on the road, Reliable is the place to come. Thanks for checking out my truck, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.